it's Holder here. I recently wrote an article on why I feel everyone focused on preparedness should have a fire pit in their home. There are a bunch of uh, valid reasons uh, to do so, but primarily I would say to be able to practice your fire building skills, uh, especially those of us that live in a city, it's pretty tough to get out there in the field on a continual basis to really uh, hone in the uh, skill set of fire building. And also, of course, being able to cook over an open fire. Another uh, great way to get exposure and uh, get some, uh, some much needed practice while you're at home. So once again, being able to have access to a fire pit can facilitate that uh, because all you have to do is go outside in your backyard as opposed to going out in the field. So once again, I wanted to make this video to accompany my article to give you a little bit more detail. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. So let's start with fire building. Uh, fire building, obviously, as we know, in an emergency situation will be one of those skill sets that will definitely be called upon. Uh, unfortunately, many of us, especially as uh, city dwellers, don't have time to be out there in the field and uh, get away just to be able to practice our fire building. So being able to have a fire pit in your backyard where not only can you practice fire starting, but uh, you can go through the whole process. I've seen many people in the field excellent at fire starting, but when it comes to maintaining the fire, they're lacking in experience, and it usually ends up going out. So not only can you uh, practice diverse methods of fire starting, from bow and drill to ferro rod, matches, battery, steel wool, you name it, but uh, you can also practice maintaining, uh, and especially in different types of weather, uh, snowy weather, rainy weather, so on and so forth, because that's where you want to get your experience in, because you know if you can start it in that type of inclement weather, uh, when the uh, conditions are relatively ideal as far as weather, uh, you'll have no issues at all. And once again, you get to do all this in privacy without somebody breathing down your neck, telling you how you're doing it wrong and their way is better. Uh, I'm sure we've all experienced that with uh, a plethora of skill sets. Practicing your cooking skills. And now, of course, in an emergency situation, even recreational situation, we need to maintain our nutrition and we need to eat well. And the better that the meal is and the better that it tastes, the better that it is for our morale. And of course, when uh, things are going awry, any little bit of comfort uh, will add a uh, great deal to uh, the chances of us boating well in this emergency situation. So once again, being able to practice and hammer in those culinary skills, especially over an open fire, will go a long way in uh, keeping up not only your morale, but also the morale of your group and uh, loved ones. Getting rid of organic trash. Now, I'm not a fan of doing this in a recreational environment, uh, whatever the case may be, but when it comes to an emergency, uh, think about it. How many other choices are you going to have? The Department of uh, Public Works is not going to be coming around taking away your recycling and uh, your garbage on a weekly basis. So you're going to have to uh, do something. And the best way that I could uh, remedy this, let's say in a home environment during an emergency, would be to burn my actual organic trash. Uh, so keep that in mind. And, uh, you know, definitely an option to keep away critters uh, and keep away uh, other unwanted guests, uh, let alone smells, uh, just to be sanitary. And, of course... Uh, you know, trying to keep as many bacteria and viruses away from our premises as possible. Purifying water. Uh, now, uh, most of us have uh, water filters, uh, water purifiers, which are great, but uh, at the same time, to really make sure that you want to go ahead and kill all the bacteria and virus that's found in the water uh, during an emergency situation, you uh, want to go ahead and add the extra assurance of boiling it, uh, even after filtration. And uh, that way you know you're pretty much good to go and uh, don't have to worry about it for yourself. Uh, as well as your loved ones. Keeping animals at bay. I mean, think about it in a emergency get, situation, get even domesticated here. animals, they're gonna find their way free. Uh, they're gonna be lost from their family, so to speak. And uh, the more that they uh, smell food and know that other people around, they might want to come and visit your home. And, uh, you know, once again, they might not be friendly. And that also goes for the, uh, the wild uh, animals that are out there also. So being able to have a fire pit in your backyard, not only is it giving you some illumination, uh, where maybe you wouldn't have any before because the grit is down, uh, but it's also helping to keep those animals at bay and uh, keep them away from your home. Smoking meat and fish, uh, another great uh, purpose for your fire pit. Uh, during an emergency, we might get lucky on a hunt or a fishing trip and uh, end up getting a lot of good stuff. And uh, one of the few ways that you're gonna be able to preserve that is to smoke it. And uh, once again, having access to a fire pit, especially in your backyard, uh, where it's nice and convenient and comfortable, and most likely you have access to other tools, uh, not a bad means of uh, 
not only preserving your food, but also making it uh, pretty tasty. So bottom line, I know that I devote a great deal of uh, money and time to my preparedness, and I'm sure that you do exactly the same. And a lot of the gear that I do invest in maybe gets utilized a couple times per year, mainly during a drilling scenario. But most of the time, it's just stored and ready for any uh, shit-hit-the-fan scenario. But what I do like about this fire pit is that I actually utilize it almost on a daily basis. So not only is it great for skill building, but as far as devoting money and uh, budget towards gear, it's something that's actually getting uh, a lot of use. So for me, that justifies the investment and uh, definitely bodes well for my preparedness. Once again, this is Helder. I hope that you found this information helpful.